What's good YouTube? Welcome to another video back on my channel and as you all can see by today's video we're going to be going over my personal jean collection. Now I'm super excited to make this video because if you don't know jeans is actually one of my favorite things to pick out when it comes to making an outfit. I love denim, I love bottoms, I love pants, all of that man so I'm super excited to get into it and show you guys my personal favorite. Now this is what we're going to do because I know you guys see the new background in today's video man. We're not making videos out in the living room no more. We are casually moving up when it comes to this new apartment. I do vlog all those experiences of me getting furniture me going out making new friends being on ATL so if you want to check that out the link will be down in the description but we have a new garment rack and I'm super excited to add more pieces this fall season on this garment rack so make sure you guys stay tuned because tomorrow's video why did I just say tomorrow <laughs> ultimately what I'm getting at is to make sure you guys stay tuned to all the new videos that I have on both channels because we are progressing through life and I just want to share everything that I'm going through on my journey with you guys and we can stay connected as a family so jumping right into my jean collection I do want to separate this into two sections because I do feel like it is very important to go over the vintage pieces that I have as well as the designer because I'm gonna be real as a college student right now I don't have all the money in the world to constantly spend money on designer and things of that nature so I definitely can say that vintage shopping and finding your local thrift stores and getting things on a budget is definitely more essential right now as far as my life and I'm pretty sure if you're around my age 19 years old college high school you could definitely relate to that as well so with that being said let's go over the vintage pickups and then we're gonna go over the designer so starting off with this portion of the video I want to show you guys my vintage Levi 550s now I really love these because there's a lot of character and details that are added to them they aren't too baggy but they aren't too skinny and you guys know me I love skinny jeans and I also love baggy jeans but some days I just want to have that happy medium so whenever I want to add some flair to my outfit or add some character and uniqueness, I will go with these jeans because the hem is destroyed, you know, like the hem is completely frayed and you just don't see a lot of people stepping out nowadays with jeans like this. So I can definitely say that this was a good grab. Now for the next pair of denim, we have this vintage like paint splatter type helmet laying inspired denim. Now I actually got these from the thrift store for about like $10 and listen, I always say this on my channel, if you do not go thrifting. You gotta go. Back into this denim, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't wear these a lot because they are gray and you guys know me, I wear black basically every single day. I don't know why, uh, I can't answer why. Well, obviously I can't because I don't know why. <laughs> I don't wear these. I have said in plenty of videos that I do want to start expanding my wardrobe and adding color into it, but it has to be natural. Like, it has to be organic. I can't say, you know what, I'm gonna step out wearing color today. Like, or no, that is how it goes. I gotta feel it. Like a week or two ago, I was wearing this white and gray Stotts Bullet tee and I was looking at my denim collection and I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to throw these out. So I ended up wearing these with like this white and gray pair of dunks and the fit was hard, but I can definitely say like this is something that I don't wear every single day. Like it has to make sense. I won't let these go. Super good essential. And if you don't go thrift shopping, I'm gonna say it one more time. I got these for 10 bucks. Hit your local thrift. So I'm gonna show two pairs of tan denim at once. Now on this right hand side, we do have a pair of Levi's again, which honestly have like a paint splatter effect to them but it's more so like a bleach like if you guys know if you ever put bleach on a t-shirt it will make something that's black go to like a oranges almost even white if you let the bleach sit on for long enough and I feel like with the previous owner of these they definitely let some bleach sit on them and if you guys can see by the b-roll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but on the left hand side we have this pair of skinny tan denim now I'm gonna be honest this is not a men's pair of jeans I'm gonna say it right now not all clothes have to have gender attached to them no I am not a female but sometimes the girls be having nice pieces bro Let's be real. So I was at the thrift store and I actually vlogged this on one of my past thrift shopping videos. So if you want to see that, it will be in the playlist section of my channel. But I was doing a thrift shopping challenge and I seen these in the women's aisle and I was like, you know what? This is a nice colorway for a pair of denim. It was only like five bucks if I'm not mistaken. I tried it on. They still fit me. So I did what? I bought them. Again, the thrift store is your long lost best friend. Do not count him or her. Would the thrift store be a him or her? Do not count it out. Never count your thrift store out because it will always be there when in doubt. When in doubt. Oh my God, I'm a lyrical genius. I wanna briefly go over this pair of vintage Levi's as well because like I said previously, man, the Levi's are the grand essential when it comes to denim, whether you're at the mall or at the thrift store, you will always catch somebody wearing Levi's or Levi's being sold. So go get you a pair of Levi's. And what you're seeing on the screen right now is actually a guide for Levi's. So if you want, you can pause the video and take a screenshot of this just for future reference. If you wanna go to the thrift store or go to your local mall to actually invest into some Levi's, you know exactly which ones you wanna go for by the number. I really like wearing this pair of denim on cold days you guys know it's the fall season matter of fact no i'ma hold that thought for the next video this will be in my fall essential so make sure y'all stay tuned and hit that subscribe button because it is coming last but not least because it is fall i do have to have a pair of cargos now i used to wear cargos a whole lot back in like 2017 2018 when i first started getting to fashion because i'ma be honest if you ever want a pair of cargos 
Do not go on Depop, do not go on Grailed and spend $40, $50 on a pair of Olive Cargos. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're getting into fashion, that is the worst mistake and save your money. So that was the vintage portion of my gin collection. Now we're gonna go ahead and tap over to the designer portion because I'm gonna be honest, we all love designer. We all get that feeling when we do buy designer like, damn bro, I just got me some number nine. I just got me some Rob Simmons. Like it always gives us a great feeling. So I'm actually excited to show you guys the designer, but do not count the vintage out because it was definitely a great role and still is in my collection. So for the first pair of denim in the designer portion, I wanna showcase these pair of Rick Owens, Dark Shadow, Oma, and Murda. I, hopefully I'm saying that right. I butcher the name every single time. There's one thing that I love when it comes to buying archive pieces is that the fade in the character is always on point. There's so many different variants to the stitching if you really look closely that it's honestly hard to tell what the actual base color is. And to justify that claim a little bit more, if you move to the waistline, you can actually see that where the belt loops are, there's distress and you can see that on the top it started off with like this dark blue wash and then it goes to like this fade and then it goes to like this gray you can see that there's distressing on the pocket area like this is just a unique pair of jeans and I'm gonna be honest you're not finding these at the thrift store bro so next up we have the helmet Lang spring summer 1998 painter denim now I've talked about this on the channel time and time again and I'm gonna be honest this is arguably in my opinion this is arguably one of the best denims that have ever released ever like in life like if you know any other denim that is stick just like this better crafted than the Helmet Lang Spring Summer 1998 painters. Let me know. Starts off with this blue wash and then just from age and time and character and like wear and tear, you can see that it does go to like this mud wash, mud fade, which is so crazy. Like the paint is still intact. Like everything about this pair of denim is beautiful. As you move down, the hem actually does have a bit distressing on her as well. Now it's not destroyed like the Vintage Levi's that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, but it does have some great use towards the end of the hem that does add character to it nonetheless. And if I'm not mistaken with all the years from 1998 up until now these jeans started out like this so next up we have a brand that i'm really excited to show you guys this is an up-and-coming designer brand that have always showed love to me from a few years back all the way up until now and a lot of people will be wearing these in the near future so if you're not already on that wave get on it right now and the brand i'm talking about is a king shout out to alan king if you're watching this video man he's always came through when it comes to the new collections in denim and i'm super happy to show you guys all the things that i have so far in my collection so for the first pair of denim from a kings we have the Howard denim. Now, the main reason why I did end up purchasing this pair of denim is because it reminds me so much of the Rick Owens air cut. I put a side by side of the air cuts and this denim, and you guys could definitely see where the inspiration came from. And I actually wore these and posted it on my story on Instagram. If you don't follow me, uh, you don't have to. I, I don't know why I said that. You don't have to follow me. But I posted these and a lot of people actually thought these were Rick Owens. No, I am not a fake flexor. I'm not a fake stunner. I will tell you right now. These are A-Kings, bro. These are not Rick Owens. Although I would love to get the air cuts. Don't get me wrong. But I don't got air cut money. So until then, we rocking with A-Kings. And I definitely can say that the quality is still there. The cut is amazing. Like, you have that medial zipper that goes all the way down. Now, one thing that I wish that they did add is that extra layer how the air cuts did have it. So when you do un zip it all the way you're not just showing underwear next up we have this black pair of skinny denim now this is a very unique pair of denim as well because it does have an extra long inseam now if you don't know about denim i will tell you right now an inseam is basically how long the jean actually is so you know everybody was wearing stacks in like 2019 2020 uh i think even the beginning of 2021 it was definitely still huge in the urban streetwear community type scene those denims were having like 40 50 plus inseam which creates that stacked effect so basically when you get a pair of steak denim and they're like this extremely long that's what inseam is so if you move down you can see that there's a curvature at the end of the denim which also creates a stacked effect but it's not too dramatic so you're not actually wearing a pair of stacked jeans but if i did decide to wear a pair of boots like i am in this picture on the screen where the bottom of the denim does bunch up a little bit which creates that stacked effect and it honestly just adds a little bit of more uniqueness to your fit and i definitely can say it is necessary for some of your outfits to make it look 10 times better so we're gonna knock out two birds in one stone when it comes to this so on the right hand side you guys can see that we have a black pair of j cut wax denim now but if you watched the video that i uploaded about two weeks ago on the channel i said that i was gonna get rid of all my clothes and i showed you guys some of my favorite pieces that i had and some of my least favorite pieces and i call these the vamp jeans you know this black wax with the rico and ramones man you're literally a playboy cardi clone and i'm not mad at it listen that's not a bad thing but i can definitely say the vamps come out when you wear these so if you're a playboy cardi stan these are the jeans to go for but all jokes aside though still a great pair of jeans that still give you a little bit of a stacked effect 
tight. That's what I love about it. These are super tight fitting. Um, definitely one of the tightest pair of jeans in my collection. So I don't really wear them that much. They do play a role in my collection that I do appreciate because whenever I do want to go for that rock star feel, because like I said, some days I'm peaceful where I just got Vans on, some shorts, and this jacket or something. But then some days I want to go full on rock star mode. So I end up throwing these on whenever I'm in that mood. So like I said, they do play a significant role. But yeah, a really nice pair of jeans, as you guys can see from the B roll. And I won't let these up, man. I really love these. Now for the left hand side, we have another pair of J cut jeans, and I'm pretty sure you guys can already see the trend when it comes to this brand is that they have these longer inseams as well, the J cut to create that stack effect. So again, if you really love that style, a Kings is the brand to go for and this is not sponsored this is 100% genuine A Kings is that brand but this has your typical black denim nothing too crazy with your white side stripe whenever I don't want to go too crazy with the outfit I can throw these on and it acts as your basic black jean essential so I cannot let these up as well these play a significant role as well I don't know why I said as well twice so next up for my designer brand we have empty spaces now bro if you're a longtime supporter you already know how much I've been rocking with empty spaces repping them whether it came to denim shirt graphics whatever it is bro I'm an empty spaces fiend now for the right hand side we have the empty spaces destroyed denim now the reason why I say destroyed denim is because you guys can see that they're distressing that starts from the top of the waistline all the way to the bottom of the hem like there is no free space when it comes to this denim everything has been distressed whenever I want to have an extremely exotic outfit I'm talking exotic top exotic bottom and exotic shoes bro these are the jeans to go for and I love black bro you can't go wrong bro I'm trying to tell you you cannot go wrong these have been my favorite jeans for about three almost four years now so keep it up bro you are literally the goat and on the left hand side if y'all thought i was done man with the same black destroyed denim we have a white version as well now i'm gonna be honest i don't really wear the white version too much white is a crazy color to wear all the time especially when it comes to denim if you spill some hot sauce on your jeans or some barbecue sauce you out of the game man you're really out of the game <laughs> that's crazy but you are completely out of the game so i really don't wear white too much when it comes to the bottom but these definitely play a role like i said all the jeans that i have in my collection play a significant role i still like them but i don't really put in as much wear when it comes to the black ones as these so yeah man that's that i told y'all i was an empty space fiend right i cannot make this up we got another pair of empty spaces and i'm gonna be honest i wore these one time and i'm a realist i'm gonna be 100 with y'all like i said i'm 100 with myself i'm 100 with y'all it is very hard to style these i'm not really used to stepping out wearing blue and something with an all over print like this like if i'm not mistaken this is the only pair, yeah, yeah, not even if I'm not mistaken. I know I'm not mistaken. This is the only all over print pair of pants that I have in my entire collection. And it is very hard to pair this up. Um, I wore these with a tank top and my Rick Owens one day and it still looked good. But for this denim, when springtime comes around, I definitely want to experiment with this and really break the boundary when I'm wearing this because I definitely feel like I can still pull off the ideas that I have in my head with it. Again, I really want to put these on, but I definitely going to take my time and figure out what's actually me when I wear them. So yeah, that's that. Now for this next denim, we have the Elite's Dirt Denim. Elite's is one of my favorite designer brands. I really wish they weren't so expensive, man. I would literally go crazy if I had unlimited money and buy nothing but Elite's. Like, I can't make this up. I will buy nothing but Elite's. I will actually do it, but I don't got that type of money. By the way, I just thought about this. If you want to see a video where I will basically go over all the things that I would buy if I had unlimited money, let me know because I know that video won't quote unquote get views, but that's something I have a lot of fun making. So if y'all want to see that, let me know. Drop that down in the comment section below because I would definitely do something like that now a lot of people probably aren't gonna like these because it does have quote-unquote dirt on it but i feel like if you know how to style these right these could be some of the best essentials because they already dirty like you don't have to worry about getting shit on them because they're already dirty so that honestly just makes it essential when you're going for a vintage vibe when it comes to your outfit matthew m williams i've been saying this for like two three years now bro if you're watching this let me walk for you my guy like i know you see my dms bro like do it have to really get to the point where okay every check that i get i start buying a leak i start buying all the Givenchy that's in the store i tag you every single post so you can finally know who i am and finally see everything that i do and finally give me a chance i know i'm not gonna do that but matthew if you're watching this video bro just let me walk for you man this is my second pair because the first pair i had i loved them but i ain't gonna lie i was trying to get more pieces at the time so i ended up selling them and as soon as i shipped them off i looked at my collection and said damn i need my dirt denim back so i ended up giving me another pair and we're gonna keep these indefinitely i'm probably never gonna sell these unless my waist gets bigger which I don't think will happen. So for this next pair of denim in the designer portion of the video, and I'm gonna be honest, technically this isn't designer, but I'm a real bro, I'm gonna say how it is, bro. I consider these designers, and these were actually made by a subscriber, bro. I love saying that. This is one of my biggest things that I love saying on this channel because y'all are 
fucking crazy. I actually love you guys because you guys show so much love to me. But a subscriber sent me this and his brand is actually called Simpson Forever. Hopefully I am saying that correctly. But these are crazy, bro. And also he actually added like this cowboy emblem. I don't know what this is, bro. Simpson, if you're watching this video, let me know what this is because I really fuck with this. Like I really like the way this looks, but I kind of want to know what it actually is. Like I see a patch and I see pearls, but like where did you get this idea from? And I'm not trying to steal your idea. Trust me, gang. I'm not... <laughs> Because that sounds crazy. I just want to know what exactly is this and what shape is this? Because I see a bird when I look at this. Do y'all see a bird? Or maybe like a... No, that's not a bird. Why did I say a bird? That's definitely not a bird. Last but not least, man, we finally made it to the last pair of denim. I know y'all probably like, damn, bro. How long this video gonna be? Finally, this nigga get done talking because I know I love to talk. But you're here on my channel, man, and I love talking about fashion with you guys. So, for the last pair of denim, we have the 311 Guinea Jean. Now, I'm gonna be honest. It was one point in time where I was wearing these every single day. Like, I believe I wore these for about four days straight. And then I did take about a three-day break. And then I was back wearing these for about two, three days more. So, it also has like this red dye where the distressing is which i thought was really unique there's paneling at the bottom of it which i thought was crazy as well so again 311 if you're watching this video man torian bro keep going crazy with your brand i love these like i said i wore these just four days in a row so yeah y'all that's my entire jean collection now because fall season is coming to an end and winter is coming up it's cold as hell outside i did not think and listen i'm from savannah i stepped out here to atl and was caught off guard i stepped outside was trying to go to school and i was like damn it's cold like it's cold as fuck. It got to the point where I was like this. <sighs> Y'all already know when you gotta do. That's when you know it's cold. So I will be utilizing those thrift stores to make sure I'm cozy and comfortable this winter season, man. That being said, I love you all. I will see you all in the next video. Uh, make sure you stay healthy, motivated, and positive. And last but not least, I do this every single video at this point. You know what I'm about to say. Make sure you continue to work hard and be nice to people. That's all it takes to win. We all gotta be nice to each other as we move up in this game of life. I love you all. I will see you in the next video. Peace.